Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at Papyrus Author's Thesaurus. <laughs> that isn't easy to say. Now, a Papyrus Thesaurus differs a great deal from those you would find in a standard word processor because it was created specifically with writers in mind. This means it has a far broader selection of words for you to choose from. This really helps you be far more creative because it makes you think deeply about those replacement words you're going to use. I know that certainly applies to me. So with that said, let's take a look. Okay, so uh, all I've got turned on at the moment is style analysis, and that's to show uh, word repetition, which are highlighted here. Uh, which the thesaurus is really good at helping you with. Um, so to open the thesaurus, you would right click on the word you want uh, a simile for and come down to synonyms. Now, the as I said in the intro, Papyrus's thesaurus is really aimed at creative writers or authors. So it offers you a lot more in the way of suggestions than the standard thesaurus and often they're more creative suggestions so you might see things there that you wouldn't see in other um, thesauruses and the word families for each one of them are quite extensive at the moment i'm just going to go for uh, attempt now that's a uh, present tense so i'll just change that to past tense i'll just pause and have a look for something else Okay, so I've just opened a different uh, project. And for instance, if we look at expression, if I right click on there, and you can see the list uh, of similes is quite extensive again, but it's also broken into different categories in terms of look, manifestation, verbal expressions, because obviously expression, you know, it has several meanings. Um, and then they have sub... Uh, word families or more words within those uh, categories so I'm going to go for countenance okay because I like that and I'm going to have to change and or and to a wore a countenance of bored and well-worn indifference I like that okay so the the thesaurus I I love the thesaurus in as much as for instance, often I'll look at um, a sentence with word repetition, but it needs more than just replacing that word. And by seeing such a large list of similes, it then makes me rethink about the whole sentence. And sometimes from seeing one word in the thesaurus, I'll reword the whole sentence and you end up with, uh, a, with better prose. So, yeah, it's a great tool. And it is tailored specifically to writers. Okay, so that was the thesaurus video. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll catch you later.